switch now to Action News reporter Sharifa Jackson, who has more on that hero canine that helped bring Cavalcante to justice. Yes, yeah, Sharifa's live for us in South Coventry Township with that part of our story tonight. Sharifa. Yeah, Shari Gray, a lot of different tools at play throughout this search. A lot of teamwork was required, but in the end, one of the heroes of the day, the four-legged officer named Yoda. Trained and ready for the job, this is four-year-old Yoda, part of the U.S. Border Patrol Tactical Unit. It was this Belgian Malinois who took down convicted killer and escaped inmate Danilo Cavalcante this morning. Far better that we're able to release a, a patrol dog like this and have them subdue the individual than have to use lethal force. The intense 14-day manhunt came to an end in South Coventry Township. As Cavalcante made one final attempt to get away, Yoda was released. He subdued him with a couple bites, only leaving Cavalcante with a bleeding scalp wound. The fact that a canine was able to apprehend the suspect, it's always a good thing to see. Patrick Fitzgerald, the owner of Keystone Canine Services, reacting to the news of the Belgian Malinois. He's trained hundreds of dogs in Pottstown and surrounding areas. He says temperament, drive, and aggression is what defines a well-trained canine, and Yoda did what he was trained to do. A big thing in this case is scent detection. So finding a scent base from a suspect, whether it's a drop piece of article of clothing, a backpack, shoes, blood. We already know Yoda is no ordinary dog, but tonight he's being called a canine hero. Neither Yoda or any of the officers were injured. The only thing I wish I could have been the one that trained that dog. Unfortunately, I wasn't, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's great to see a canine apprehend a suspect, you know, anytime and come out unharmed. And again, Yoda is part of the Border Patrol Tactical Unit based in Detroit. He's set to head home. We hope that he is celebrated with lots of love in a big state. Gray live in South Coventry Township. Sharifa Jackson for Action News at 10 on PHL 17. Gray, Shari. Yeah, everyone interested to learn more about Yoda. Sharifa, thanks.